really care for music. All 11 upcoming DC TV shows on HBO Max. HBO Max is going to become the next big thing within two years. With the kind of DC and other TV shows it is bringing in, it will soon become a tough competitor of Netflix, Prime, and Disney+. We've already got around 11 shows that have been confirmed to arrive on HBO Max. Besides these 11, there are more to come. 2021 and 2022 are going to be great years for DC fans. So let's look at the giant roster of all DC shows arriving on HBO Max from 2021 and beyond. Green Lantern HBO Max is coming up with the Green Lantern series, which will tie in with the Green Lantern core movie. We're going to witness six different Green Lanterns in the series, which include the first Green Lantern from Earth, Alan Scott. The other major Green Lanterns involved are Guy Gardner, Jessica Cruz, and Simon Baz. Season 1 will last 10 episodes and the story of all these lanterns will span across decades. Oh and yes, the series will also include Sinestro and Kilowog. But don't expect the likes of Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart to show up, not in season 1 at least. With its big budget, this show might turn out to be the best project of 2022. Justice League Dark J.J. Abrams is coming up with a Justice League Dark series. This statement within itself is enough to raise the excitement levels for this series. We're really looking forward to the likes of Constantine, Zatanna, Etrigan, Deadman, and Swamp Thing. This series could prove to be dark, funny, and very spooky, so watch out for it! Peacemaker Be like a douchey Captain America. The guy who believes in peace. James Gunn recently confirmed that he wrote a new series during lockdown, and he'll be filming it with John Cena in 2021. Peacemaker is already being called one of the funniest and most badass characters of the Suicide Squad. He is a douchey Captain America, who believes in peace at any cost. He is even willing to kill people in order to attain peace. This series will be a prequel to the Suicide Squad and it will explore Peacemaker's origins. Gotham PD The first trailer of Matt Reeves' The Batman really had us all going crazy over it. So just imagine if the Gotham PD series also carries the same quality of storytelling. The Batman will explore the second year of Batman from Bruce Wayne's point of view. But the Gotham PD series will explore Batman's first year from the perspective of the police and the people of Gotham. It could be a great drama thriller that takes a deeper dive into the rampant corruption of Gotham. Titan Season 3 Titans began on the DC Universe, and with its two seasons, it has brought a lot of characters into play. Season 3 has begun filming, and now that it will arrive on HBO Max next year, it could become even better. That's because Max is going to allot it a bigger budget which will surely be needed to improve its CGI. Last season was good but it could have used better stunt work and CGI for the likes of Beast Boy and Superboy. Doom Patrol So I began my experiments in search of mortality. People have loved both the seasons of Doom Patrol and it has been renewed for a third season. Like Titans, Doom Patrol Season 3 will also work better on HBO Max, and we've already seen that with Season 2. Harley Quinn <laughs> The two seasons of the R-rated animated Harley Quinn series have been loved by the fans. Like Titans and Doom Patrol, it started as a DC Universe original. But now, the third season will arrive as an HBO Max original. Strange Adventures This American hero became a space hero. Like Marvel's What If animated series, DC will come up with a live-action counterpart anthology series. Every episode will tell us distinct stories about different, unfamiliar superheroes and their strange adventures. DC Superhero High This is a comedy series that is being produced by Elizabeth Banks. It will involve a group of teenagers that are all destined to become superheroes. 
Together, these teenagers will study in DC Superhero High, which is DC school for gifted individuals. Aquaman, King of Atlantis. Besides Aquaman 2 and a Trent spin-off movie, James Wan is also bringing us a three-part animated series for HBO Max. It is called Aquaman, King of Atlantis. It will tell us the story of what happens after Aquaman became the King of Atlantis and the protector of the Seven Seas. Zack Snyder's Justice League. I don't care how many demons he's fought and how many hells, he's never fought us. The Snyder Cut is a movie, but it will arrive on HBO Max next year as a four-part miniseries. It will involve everything that Snyder had originally shot and intended for. Martian Manhunter, Darkseid, Desaad, and Green Lantern will all be in the series. Superman is going to don his black suit. Batman and Wonder Woman are going to be even more badass. Aquaman and Atlantis will be explored. The Flash will travel through time and Cyborg will be the heart of the series. Honorable Mention Young Justice Season 4 Maybe not, but we kind of need you to take it. DC Universe picked up the third season of Young Justice called Outsiders. It is arguably the best DC animated series, and Season 3 continued with its quality storytelling. Now the show has been renewed for a fourth season, which has been titled Young Justice Phantoms. It is likely that the show will premiere on HBO Max, but that hasn't been officially announced yet. Which of these DC HBO Max shows are you most excited about? Tell us in the comments!